Thanksgiving went by, which is not celebrated by much people. And Christmas is on the way, which is also not celebrated by a lot of people. And here I am, Mr. Fake Hindi Accent English Guy. What? Half-Life Alex, finally a new Half-Life game announced last week, which is an experiment by Valve in a VR market, as they want to tell new stories through VR. But apparently CD Projekt Red, the developers of Cyberpunk 2077, feel that they are not scared of Half-Life. Cyberpunk 2077 is supposed to be the biggest game in the next quarter of 2020, with Keanu Reeves in it, although the in-game version of Keanu Reeves doesn't really look like Keanu Reeves. But still, it's one of the most biggest anticipated game of 2020, until Half-Life came in. Because Half-Life brings Half-Life Alex, which is a VR version of Half-Life for the first time. And not only that, the game is also coming a month before the release of Cyberpunk 2077. Recently, it was asked about the impact Cyberpunk will face when Half-Life Alex will be launched. And apparently they say that they are not scared of Half-Life and also believe that Valve don't want Half-Life to be a big hit. Sure, I mean, it is all about the Esa game ka return hona jo ki fans dil se chate hain. Kyu hi wo log usko ek bada hit banane wale hain, hai na? But actually, they're trying to say that the market of VR is very minimalistic. And Valve is now trying to expand that market. However, Cyberpunk 2077 will be for console and PC players who don't have VR. Which means the masses for Cyberpunk is more than the masses of VR Half Life. Now that's actually kind of a fair point. Well, to be honest, you believe that it will be a little that fan base will start using VR more because of Half Life. But this can also be seen that Half Life VR could be the first and most impressive VR storytelling game of all time. Because Valve, of course. Dono, Cyberpunk and Half-Life are coming next year in the first quarter of 2020, with Cyberpunk 2077 coming out on April 16th and Half-Life coming sometime in March 2020. Ghost Recon Breakpoint Yes, this game is having more new content and this new one is called Project Titans, which is one of the ways on how Ubisoft is actually going to fix Ghost Recon Breakpoint after heavy negative reviews received for this very game. Now here is an interesting thing that this new content is absolutely free. But here are some small rules that are needed. And that is you need to at least have 150 gear score in order to take part in this raid. And full 4 person squad is a mandatory thing. Now apparently matchmaking is a thing if you are playing and you don't have any squad. But Ubisoft had also said that communication is the key to win the game. This means you have to keep your mic on so that you can communicate with the squad mates and win the game. Progress through Project Titan will be maintained via checkpoints after each boss fight. But any progress made between them will not be maintained between sessions. So plan your breaks accordingly. Now what is this mode? Well, it seems like a faction of Burnthals called the Red Wolves, which is like the Red Hood from Batman. And they have taken over Golem Land, which is a volcanic island where Skull Technologies was developing experimental drones with the assistance of a self-learning AI. I guess they have seen no movie in which artificial intelligence is destroying the world. Artificial intelligence. So now you and your team have to go in and destroy 4 lethal prototype drones before they reach the production stage and start causing some trouble. Now Ubisoft is also saying that they will be monitoring every player data so that they make sure that this game is challenging enough. As well as they have 2 new content coming early next year too. You are not ready for this. Now some people are like this, who always play games to take some cinematic, amazing screenshots. Now, let's see the Gamer community of Gamer Connect. Some people are like this, who always play screenshots of racing games. Ka. You know who I am talking about. But I guess Flight Simulator is going to be one of those games where you only are going to take screenshots. Because the beauty of the game is so hard to control that you just have to take a screenshot. But this game not only looks great on the outside as in the landscape or the buildings, the inside of a plane is absolutely glorious. In a new feature discover video, the flight simulator's cockpit functionality which is created using a new engine 
named glass cockpit. Now this cockpit not only shows the numbers but also simulates oil pressure and electrical systems of the plane so the needles of the instruments change depending upon the status of those systems. It is as if you're actually flying a plane. But of course, isko khelne ke baad plane urana chalu nahi karunga. But to see the immense detail in a cockpit like that is insane. Not only that, the rendering of inside the plane is out of the charts and it's made almost exactly as in real life. And it also has been told that the weather change will be similar to that of real life when you fly the plane. Which means all the weather effects, the wind effect and everything, you can feel it right then and there. Now apparently the head of Microsoft's flight simulator has also told that they have considered very strongly for VR after that amazing response in E3 and they really want to make sure that this VR is done right. And it might be possible that the VR option is coming very soon to the game. The game will have more details added like trains, animals, ships etc and also seasons. For example in winter there is a lot more than just snow as rivers will react differently and at some point they will melt. Animals such as bears love to sleep during the winter and some animals will fly to the south and so much more. I'm telling you this game will blow up everyone's mind similar to that of Death Stranding which is actually blowing everyone's mind. Yes, we got more news of Call of Duty Modern Warfare because for the first time ever, Call of Duty Modern Warfare is having Battle Pass system. And they're going to launch their first round of post-launch content. And they promise it's gonna be the most ambitious season of all time. And that will begin tomorrow. So add me in Battle.net in PC so that we can play together and rule the whole game. The reason I'm so excited about this is because they're bringing maps from older games. That's right, three maps are being brought from Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The old one, not the, not the new one, so don't get confused. Crash, Waken and Shipment are all being brought back from Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Now that's what I'm talking about Call of Duty. A new ground war map and two more gunfight maps are also coming to the game. Two new multiplayer modes are being added named Reinforce which is a mix of Domination and Search and Destroy where according to their blog post, a single life form with both teams competing for control of three flags. Ab ye, ye tough hone wala hai. Infected which is a hunt or to be hunted in a survival party game. Whatever that means. A new gunfight mode, on-site procurement where you start off with a fist and gather equipment as the match progresses. I guess ye kuch hat tak CSGO ki tarah hoga where you start off with a secondary weapon and then you get some cash to buy new weapons. So maybe uski tarah I guess. More new weapons and special ops experience are also being added or bhi information aane wala hai kal in their own website about the battle pass and what's coming next. Mujhe lagta hai ki Call of Duty Modern Warfare is right now at the top of their game. With new content, battle pass and everything being free for everyone, that is a big step for Call of Duty in terms of multiplayer. And more importantly, they listen to feedback. So that's freaking amazing. You are the target. That's not the only thing coming tomorrow because Halo Reach will be launched tomorrow as well as a part of Halo Master Chief Collection which you can get for very cheap in Steam right now. But one more thing is also coming out, a new update for Apex Legends. This new update of Apex Legends will add vast increase to the in-game level cap and also changes to how Apex Legends progression system works. The biggest change is increase in level cap because up to level cap tha 100 but when this update will go live it will increase up to 500 ye kuch bahut hi zyada bada jump tha now you can have apex pack in every level you go up to from level 2 to 20 one pack every level from level 22 to 300 one pack every two levels from level 305 to 500 one pack every five levels Meaning you can earn a total of 199 packs. The progression system has also been changed as the XP required to reach level 100 has been reduced by 5% so that new players can easy to level up. But those who are playing Apex now, there is no problem for problem Because these rewards will be retroactively earned. So if you are already in level 100, you will have 14 Apex packs and a new gun charm when you log in. A lot has been added to the game including the practice range which is very important and also two big events have already crossed. 
To be honest, Apex Legends is the only battle royale game that I love because it's very fast paced unlike other battle royale games. Hopefully sooner down the line they will introduce more new maps so that that can cycle every time we play a new game. Let's see what more Apex can bring next year. Itna hi tha aaj ke liye in the top 5 gaming news. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this very episode and hit the like button and click on subscribe for more awesome content in Gamer Connect. Gamer Connect Chennai is going to be the final event of Gamer Connect in 2019. So register yourself a ticket for free link in the description. Join Gamer Connect community in Facebook so that you can actively take part in various discussions and also join Gamer Connect Discord so that you can post your creations and get featured in the next GCS video. Check out my YouTube channel as well where I have a new series of tournament coming out where you can win a Steam wallet card and much more. This was me Gamer Manus and that was gaming news.